Yo, what's good y'all? Welcome back to another video of Los Angeles Chargers Franchise. Why am I talking like that? <laughs> Welcome back to another video of Los Angeles Chargers Franchise. We are here in the Free Agency video. It's like episode 74 or something. If you're new here, click that subscribe button. Now here in Free Agency, we obviously don't have no fucking money. Because look, I skipped a week because I needed to see who's in the draft. And we have negative 6 mil. Uh, but our team is already good, so we don't need no people. We just need to, like, redefine, I, I don't know, like, refine positions, I guess. Or some spots on the field. I was thinking about, like, hey, we need to upgrade our offensive line, but no, we just re-signed Caesar Rules. We got him on a, uh, franchise tag. We got him on a fucking franchise tag. So, we don't need to do that. And if you look at our offensive line, it's not that bad. Jerome Taylor is a 78. He's, he's young. Let's see how old these people are. He's 78, he's 26 years old. That's not even bad for a 78. Zach Barber, 24, 76. Like, not that bad. And back of Forrest Lamb. Forrest Lamb's kind of old. Mike Edgar, our best offensive line behind, uh, what's his face? Quentin Nelson, who are coming up on 25, and he's 82 overall. Uh, Quentin Nelson, 28, 99 overall. And Cesar Ruiz. 84, and he's about 25 or something like that. Yep, 25. He's on contract, too. So I don't think we need an offense, upgrade our offensive line. Might need a back quarterback just in case, so we kind of do it in the draft. Wide receiver position is kind of good. Well, it is, I, I say it's good. Dorian Dale, Tony Burton, Joe Reed, Preston Williams. And the only thing we need to upgrade on defense, in my opinion, is cornerbacks. Obviously, we're missing Eli Apple. We got Greedy Williams. Probably just need to upgrade one more corner spot and upgrade the safety positions. I might look to get rid of Drew Tranquil. It's not that he's not he's bad. He's actually really good for us. He made some very key plays for us. Um, I don't think he's bad at all. But I think I think we're gonna have to move on from some people. I think Drew Tranquil is just one of those people that we're gonna have to end up moving up on moving on from moving up on <laughs> moving on from he's about to turn 30 this year so you know we'll, we'll look to try to trade him maybe replace him in a draft i don't know what's his contract looking like actually he has two years remaining it's not that bad of a contract but it will be good to free up some space in that sense and we'll, we'll be looking to do that maybe get him for a draft pick hopefully i don't know we'll see what his Worth is in the market right now. So just looking at it already, teams fairly want him. Most of them are green or yellow. A few are red, probably because of the contract situation. Or just because they really don't need him. But most of them are green. Uh, I'm going to be looking for a team with a high pick. Oh, our picks are not looking that good, actually. <laughs> I thought we had some good picks, but we do not. We got two first rounds, though. We might look to be trading up. <laughs> so are they going to go through with this? Not at all. Not at all. He's not worth that. Oh my god, they're so close on this though. Alright, so we are trading Drew Tranquil. A first round this year, which is the 32th pick. And a first round next year for a first round 14th pick. And a fifth round this year. I think it's a good trade. We're moving on from Drew Tranquil. We're getting more picks in this year's draft. First round, obviously, in the fifth round. Moving up in the draft, actually. So I think it's a good uh, it's a good thing. Now we have 7 mil in cap room. Is there anybody else that we could possibly move on from that really doesn't need a contract on this team? Of course, we're going to replace the safety and middle linebackers. I think we just fixed our middle linebacker issue, in a sense. Obviously, we got kind of worse, but we're going to get better in the long run. And we're going to fix that cornerback role, I think. Junior Denario might be one we look to get rid of. I don't know what you was getting paid. We're going to find out right now, because you do not play. Yeah, you're only getting paid about 4 mil. Just about. Uh, I don't know if a team's really going to want you because you're such a low overall. What are you, like 70-something, maybe 60? 
You actually have 73 and you have star dev, so I don't think it would be the worst thing if we get rid of you. So this is a trade I'm gonna try to package. I'm in some way I'm gonna get rid of these players. It's gonna free up about f somewhere in the four mil range in cap room. Now it's actually gonna fill up way more in cap room. Way more than four mil actually. I just got to see what team need, wants both of these players. Because obviously they're going to want the pick, but nobody wants, I can't even say, Okarikiwo. I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody wants both of them, but a team does want Junior. I've seen that. Like, they really want him. The Vikings actually really want him. How y'all feel about a third round for that, for both of these guys? They did it. Maybe I overtraded a little bit. Maybe I could have got a second round of them. Should try second. Definitely should have tried second. Um, yeah, they accepted it. Okariki was out and Junior is out for a third round this year. Just freeing up more room. Now we have about nine million cap space, which is good. But still, I don't know how we're gonna pay these players next year. Just these big contracts are gonna kill us, man. So, if we're looking at our picks this year, we have two. Well, I might try to tr trade up again. Well, they're actually really close to accepting this. The first round and the second round? I mean, I could give up Joel Alexander. What are you? You have Star Dev. Will they accept that? Not even close. He actually made the trade worse. I don't think a team's going to. Actually, a team doesn't want Joel. The Chiefs. No, I'm not trading with y'all. The Colts, what pick y'all have? Eighth? Yeah, not willing to do this. Nah. What about 49ers with that 19th pick? They don't want him, though. Oh, they're so close. If you were just a little bit better, like probably a 65 overall, they would accept this. All right, so we did it. Trading 31st pick, a second round, and Brandlin Tomlinson for the first round next this year. Well, 19th pick this year. So look at our picks. We have the 14th, 19th, and maybe, maybe we might get another first round. Maybe. Because I don't think I have any more players I could really trade. Like, I really think we don't have any more. Like, maybe Pruitt, but I feel like we need him for blocking. Then again, we don't. Let's see if the team will want him. So we're actually going to get this trade done. Pruitt for a second round. I'm going to have to throw, like, a late round next year or something like how you feel about a seventh all right i'll give you another seventh oh not you i won't <laughs> i'll try to give you two sevenths those are the same seventh all right i'll give you like a six and a fifth like three years from now All right, we just traded Marcus Pruitt for a sixth round next year and a fifth round next year for the second pick this year. Not second pick, second round draft pick this year. I'm just fumbling my words. All right, might be able to flip this one for a first round pick. Flip these two second rounds for a first round pick. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, they're actually close on this one too. What do y'all want? Like, uh, I'll give you a something next year. So it's actually going to be accepted. Second round this year, second round, well, two seconds round this year, and a fourth round next year for the 22nd pick this year. Did that make any sense? No, 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 no. So you're 14th this year, 19th this year, 22nd this year. And the rest are third, fourth, fifth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. I think I am done with trading. We'll see what we can get in the draft. I don't think we need to sign free agents. I already mentioned. I have an eye on my. Uh, I have an eye on the middle linebacker. I think that could replace Drew Tranquil. I have my eye on a free safety slash corner. I have my eye on a couple things that can really change some things for us. Uh, I always say I'm spending coach XP. Let's do it right now. We're gonna need a resign influence. 
wide receiver resign influence, tight end resign influence. We already got the O line. We're gonna need D line. We already got DB. I think that's all we need for them. I got the, we got all the player progression shits. So our players get max thing accusation, accusation, accusation. <laughs> Um, I don't think we need to do those, but we can get running back, and I think we got everything. Other ones just for retirement and kickers and shit. So I think we're good on that. I'm going to show you my players that I want to draft. It's about five of them. Are we still in free agency? No. <laughs> so I'm like, there's no way we're still in free agency. Pause. I'm going to show you the players I want to draft. I hope they're still on the fucking board. So, not scouted. Draft board. What we're going to want to take is Marcus Harriet, And especially, the, you can see the two that I want the most. Marcus Harriet and Elton Wright. And oh yeah, Joe Mason is another one I want to take very early. So, it was like, who... Who is the number one priority if they're still here? I think, obviously, like, these safeties look really good. And they don't look good in, like, coverage sense, but they look really good. He's fast as shit. Oh, my God, he's fast. 4-4? Four, four? He's not as fast, but he could really jump. And he's strong, too. What about Mason? Are you fast? You ran a 4-4-0. You might be my... Yeah, I'm taking... I might take you... I hope none of these guys go. I feel like they are. What pick we got? 14th? All right. All right, they didn't take nobody. Let's go. What's our next pick? The 19th. So in five picks, hopefully no one goes. I'm going to take Joe Mason as my first pick. This is obviously going to be 14th pick. I say you go late second, but I like... I, I, I like him, man. Hit power tackle pursuit. He's the same thing, I think. Uh, I was like Joe Mixon. What's his name? Drew Tranquil was. I think he's faster. Uh, he's the same type. He's just like a rushing middle linebacker. Let's go. All right, 69. Nice. Took him 50, he's 58 in the class. Took him at 14. Obviously a reach. But um, I like what he offers. Yeah, even look at the stats now, I really like what he offers. Good speed, good tackle. Black shitters are right, hit power. Yeah, he, he he's good at going after the quarterback. His zone is obviously going to take some work. He probably might be my user. Or he'll just be my blitzer. He could play on the line if he really needs to. He just probably isn't that strong. 77 strength is not that bad. Primal Finesse is not really good. You're just not a cover guy. That's what it is. That, that's what it's going to come down to. We're going to have to turn you into that cover guy. Which is not hard because you have 59 zone. 59 zone. That's probably difficult. But with me using you and your speed, yeah, I think we could. We could, we, we could do some things. All right, next pick. Five picks away. We will see if any of our guys get taken. Next user pick. Nope. So who do you want to go here? Obviously, this is just defense for us. Um, we just took the middle linebacker. Do you want to go corner or safety? This safety is really fast, like really, really fast. And I think he's going to go now. We're going to go Marcus, not, not Marcus, Marquez Harriet out of Michigan. Probably one of the fastest players in this draft. And we took him good. He's the net, I would say ninth, ninth ranked player in this draft. We took him at 19. Let's check his attributes. 92 speed, 71 zone, 72 tackle, 78 pursuit, 76 play rec, 93 excel. Man coverage needs work at 64. Hit power at 84. So this might be a Drew Tranquil 2.0. Okay. Now you're chasing cloud. That's what we're not going to do here, okay? He might be a little better than Drew Tranquil.
because the stats he has the base off of are really good. His zone is 71, so he could cover at least a little bit. He can't really run man like that. But him rushing the quarterback or playing in that box could be just like, did I say Drew Tranquil? I meant to say Derwin James. He could be just like Derwin James. I feel like I said Drew Tranquil. I don't know why I said Drew Tranquil. What is his name? Denario? So I think a corner right here would be a good pick. But the question is, which one? I think we're going to take this uh, Felix Adams. Slot corner. And that's what you will be playing for us a lot. We're going to take you with the, what, 17th pick? Nope, 22nd. 22nd. So then we reach. He's 42 ranked player in the drive. We took him at 22. Um, he's not really good. But since you are going to be playing that slot role or... Like, you're not going to be covering a very good receiver is what I'm kind of getting at. You're very athletic. As you see, your jump is at 90. You're, you're kind of fast. 80 speed, 91 XL, 92 agility. Play records at 75. Press is at 73. But your zone in man is not that good. Good strength, good toughness, good injury. Those stuff three don't matter. Uh, I think I might take back-to-back -back corners. So we'll see if any teams took our guys. And they took both of the... Well, we only have one remaining safety here, and that's Earl Calloway. He doesn't look that good. Um, good hit, decent hit, zone, pursuit. He's all right. He's the fourth rounder. We took him in the third. Seeing we reach, he's a 100-ranked player in this draft. We drafted him at 66. And, you know, being honest, he's not that bad. He's more of the cover guy we want out there, more than the uh, guy we took in the, more in Marquez Harriet. Yeah, I think he's, yeah, he's definitely more of the cover guy. And I think that's all we have to do in this draft. Um, do we have any more picks? Yeah, we have a fourth round. No, I'm going to let the CPU just take who they want. Go to the end of the draft. So this just might be a short video like a very short video i don't know this was it we didn't have to sign nobody we just had to trade a few pieces work through the draft and i think we addressed everything we needed to address let's go draft recap i mean i don't think it really matters in, in a sense i mean i do want to see what they took for us our last pick was earl calloway they took a halfback and nick black cool name i guess uh 69 I guess it's good to go after that. That's what we need. Good speed, good excel. Carrying's all right. You know, he just he, he he's all right one. That's gonna be a third string running back, obviously. Max Hoover. Normal dev, strong safety. Good speed, pursuits all right. Excel, hit power. You can be one of those players that play in the box for us, maybe. Might be a special teamer. Garrison Peck, wide receiver. 72 overall. Not bad. Good speed. Good excel. Good catching. Good catching traffic. Deep routes are right. Spit catch. Good jumping. Like, yeah. They're taking players that I like to see. I like to see these type of players on my team. Will they stay on the team? We don't know. Chauncey Donald, not very good overall. But you have good raw stats, which is your speed, excel. Good pursuit, decent block shed. That's about it. I like some of the players they took for us. It's not horrible. We're going to go to week one of the preseason. We're going to look at the team we have here. And this is our team for season five. Might be the final season of these videos. Of the series. Final season of the series. That's what I wanted to say. But for some reason, I just fucked up the words. Um, yeah. Yeah. We addressed the business we need to address. Might need to sound like a backup tight end just to be safe. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just go, um, go on the free agency thing. See who they have for me to draft. And we'll work through, not draft, see who have me for me to pick up free agency. Maybe some rookies that didn't get drafted might, that might have a good dev trait. We'll see what we could work with. But that's going to do it for us, man. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you next video. But until next video, peace. Bitches that handle business on their own. I know niggas that can't do shit and niggas grind. I know niggas feel like I left them both.
but we grown. Niggas just ain't on what I'm on. Told her ain't nothing wrong, leave it alone. Told my niggas don't leave it home.